Thanks for staying up with Nightside. Well, if you look at your screen, this is just a preview of the thousands of pieces of mail that are being sorted tonight as the United States Postal Service is getting ready for its busiest time of year. Christmas is just 26 days away. Oh, but who's counting? Who's counting? I mean, I looked at the calendar <laughs> and got so happy today. The USPS is trying to make sure every gift makes it to its destination on time. Well, during this busy time of the year in Spokane, the USPS says it's prepared for the heavy load. New on Nightside, Rania Kaur takes us behind the scenes and shows us the machines and the people responsible for making it all possible. It's a busy day here at the Spokane USPS Processing and Distribution Center. These workers are sorting through packages and making sure they end up where they need to go. This last Monday night was a big outgoing night. Our equipment handled it no problem. But Earl Eisenrich, the plant manager for the Spokane PNDC, says their busiest time of year is just around the corner. Our biggest days are yet to come. I call them, well, there's three big Mondays yet to go. And uh, anyway, we're ready for the volume. To make sure the presents you're mailing make it in time for Christmas, the USPS says to mail them by December 17th if you're sending them domestic, by the 19th if you're sending them by a priority, and the 23rd if you're sending them by a priority express. Right now, these workers are loading those packages up onto a machine that will sort them to the exact state they need to go. Whether it's going to Boise or Missoula, the Automatic Delivery Unit System, or ATIS, Eisenrich says, is key to making processing mail in Spokane faster. So it gets us up to about 200,000 parcels per day mechanically. It was installed in August 2021 and runs 23 hours a day. Eisenrich says it's exactly what they need this holiday season. It definitely saves work hours, but it, it won't affect the number of employees in the facility. It's just going to allow us to keep up with the volume. In Spokane tonight, I'm Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.